Hello, my name is Art Gugulski. I'm with Fagor Automation, Chicago office. Today we'll be going over tool calibration for the tabletop probe with Fagor CNC 8060, 8065 family. This is a milling machine. We'll be trying to calibrate multiple tools using automated probe. The idea is after the probe is finished, the CNC will have a good data for tool length, which is defined from the base of the tool to the tool tip tool radius, which is defined as diameter divided by half, and also we can enter the cutting edge length. After this probing routine is finished, the goal is to see different tools who has different lengths and radiuses on the screen representing the same number for the z-axis. The calibrated data will go to our tool table. In today's tutorial, we'll be calibrating two tools. Tool number one is the end mill one inch and three quarters diameter, two edges, two flutes. Tool number three is also end mill, but has four flutes, so four cutting edges. Our cycle will calibrate and fine measure the length of every flute, cutting edge, and diameter radius position of those edges. Let's get started. From main menu, we will select jug mode. The machine has been already homed and the reference point established for the probe position. We do have a Marpos probe sitting on the table ready for calibration. We'll be using a tabletop pro number one. Before starting, we can test if the probe is operational. On the screen, we see the picture of the probe and we see status of the probe. At this moment, it's not deflected, it's zero. So I'm gonna deflect the probe by pushing on the mushroom and you can see the tool screen, tool probe being changed state from zero to one. So the probe is running, operational, we're ready to go. We'll be calibrating tool number one, which is selected in the spindle already. Before running the automatic cycle, we have to enter the data for the tool definition. In order to do this, we go to the tool table, select from the main screen, Tool one is the end mill with one and three quarters diameter with two flutes. So it's a milling tool with flat surface. The length, we enter five inch. You can confirm it by measuring the distance from the tool base to the tool tip. It's just a rough measurement using your calipers. So let's measure rough estimate of the tool length. We're gonna use the caliper going from the tool spindle base to the tool tip. You don't have to be very accurate here, just get the, get the estimate of the tool length, record the number, tight it. It's close to 5.1. We're gonna write this down on a piece of paper and move on to the next measurement, which will be diameter of this tool. Now the tool has written one and three quarters, you can just take this number, but it's, it's just to show you if you don't know the tool, you wanna measure the numbers. Gonna lock it. The number is the diameter of the tool. And we're gonna enter those numbers into the tool tables for tool number one. In this screen, we'll be entering the data into the right fields, length, 5.1, enter. The radius. We measured the diameter so we can take advantage of the function of calculator and we can bring it by control K. Bring the calculator on the screen. Enter the number we measure from the, from the caliper. 1.7450. Divided by two, which is my radius. And we can just insert the data. Insert, okay. All right, insert key was pressed and the data is entered into the radius. So at this moment we are ready to calibrate the tool. Escape. Escape one more time. Go back to jack mode. 
The measuring cycles are automated, so we go to function key F10 and we'll be calibrating as a first step is the length of the tool. We need to finish all the data on the screen. Tool 1, offset 1, will be probing into a clockwise, counterclockwise direction. The tool is cutting in the clockwise direction. When we do probing, make sure that we always spin it in the opposite direction, in this case counterclockwise. If things has to be changed, you can use the toggle key and change it. When you finish change, press enter to confirm. The next dimension is safety distance. I enter 150,000. When you do it first time, maybe you want to put 200,000. Feed rate for probing, I use two inches per minute. And finally, we have to enter the diameter of the tool. So this is pretty much a distance from the tool tip to the shaft of the tool. In our case, we already have the number, so we can enter it again. Let's do calculator if possible. Okay. Enter. Always confirm with the enter. We'll be spinning counterclockwise 100 RPM. And also, on this tool, we have two edges to calibrate. So I'm going to enter two. There are some numbers we can enter for before and after. But at this moment, the probe is already activated and is ready to go. So we press cycle start. Always a good idea put the feed rate to zero. The machine will start in the counterclockwise direction, approach the center of the probe. It will do a safety distance around 100,000 above the surface and then slowly is feeding with very low feed of 2 inches per minute till we see the touch. If you notice we have two edges, so the CNC is completing the cycle for both edges of the tool. the cycle completed and the data is loaded into the tool table. In order to see this, we can press escape and we see on the screen the tool measurement for the length. We measure the length of the tool. The length of the tool is the distance from the spindle center to the tool tip. Now we're going to proceed and measure the radius. Again, using the soft key F10, we select measure, we go to the radius measurement. The data is a bit different, so let me review it. Tool number one is the same. Probing direction is the same. A spindle spinning for the probe. But here we have a new field. Depending on the tool location, where is the tabletop probe located, we may have not room for such a big tool. So it is possible to toggle using a toggle key, which is right here uh, on the keyboard, same location. We can toggle from which angle we are approaching the tool probe. So we're going to select minus location for the X axis, enter. Safety distance on the side, 200 thousands, feed rate 2 inches per minute. Now, this is the distance from the tooltip to the probing point. In our case, the tool is flat. So it's a flat mill, so the distance is zero. Spindle, the same. We have two edges to calibrate. Let's get started. Press cycle start. As you can see, it's very critical that we do the length first. At this moment, the tool is in the middle of the probe surface dimension, and it's calibrating along the x-axis.
You can see doing multiple touches is trying to find position, the angular position of the tool tip against the probe. Found one edge, the second edge is 180 degrees, rotates, finds it, should be finished soon. The data has been updated into, this, into the table. Let me show you the results. So the tool length is 4.9915, the tool radius 0.8771. So just for the educational purposes, we can run the cycle again using both calibrations at the same time, the radius and the length. So again, we select the measure cycle and we run the next position. So this cycle will calibrate both length and radius. It's always a good idea to do the length first and after that do those other cycles. Ready? Cycle start. You can see we are optimizing the time because the next time we're running, the, t the CNC already knows how long is the tool. Now it's proceeding to radius measurement. And because of the size of the tool, we pick that quadrant of the machine X, Y coordinate. Finish one edge, continue to the second edge, 180 degrees away, finish. Let's review the results. The results are populated into the table, but also it's possible to go to the more detailed reading, which is located inside tables, parameters. We have two edges, so the, the results for the length compensation is in parameter 271, 273, 272, where you see the length of the tool. You can see the two, two numbers pretty close. And also we have results into a parameter 251, 252. This is your diameter. So you can also see how good is your tool on both sides of the tool tip. So this time we're gonna calibrate tool number three. The tool three is already in the spindle. We can call it on the screen. This is a manual change in this machine, tool three, cycle start. So this is a different type of tool. You can see it has four edges, cutting edges, but it's still the end mill. So we wanna review the data in the screen for the tool calibration. Now we have to make sure that the tool is already selected, which is selected, it's very critical. Tool three is in the spindle. As you can see, this is my spindle position. This is my tool on the data entry. We're gonna do the length first, enter. Same direction of rotation, counterclockwise. Safety distance. 200,000, we can use the same as before, 150. Feed rate two inches per minute. Now, what is the tool? You have to be careful here because now we have a different tool. So we know this tool is roughly half inch. So the number we wanna enter here is the, the distance to the edge of the tool tip, which is also half inch from the center quarter inch. This tool is a little bit different. The speed will be, we use the same 100 revolutions per minute, but we're gonna have four edges here. So I'm gonna enter four. 
there is not, nothing to execute before or after. This is automated cycle, we're ready to go. Feed rate at zero, always good idea, cycle start. We are in the feeding mode. You can see the feed rate changed to low number. Running 100%, we are running two inches per minute and looking for the surface. This tool has four edges to calibrate. It has four edges. The length calibration has been finished. Now we're gonna proceed right away to radius calibration, which is F2. The data is similar, but it's, let's review it. Tool number three, offset number one. Direction counterclockwise. It's a bit, little bit smaller tool. We can run from the different angle, but let's keep it the same angle. So this is the ta uh, probe location, will be on the same side, X minus. 150,000 safety, feed rate two inches per minute. Zero for the tool Sticking out is like a flat end mill, 104. Everything is ready to go, cycle start. We are confident because we already measured the, the length of the tool, so the CNC knows the tip of the tool already at this moment. This process will take four edges measurements and you can also review if the tool has been broken or if the tool has uh, problems with the, one of the edges. Edge number one finished, this is number two, number three, number four, complete. Let's review the results. Here's my results for the length. This tool is shorter than the other one by four, around 400,000 and it's smaller, it's a half inch diameter. More detailed results are in the tables. So parameter 251 is my four edges of the diameter of the radius of the tool. And parameter 71 are four lengths of those edges. So everything looks good, we're ready to continue with the process. If this video helped you out, please give us a like and subscribe for more content. If you have any suggestions for the next video, leave a comment below. Thank you.